Archives, this is controlling dogs with motion, or here comes the mailman. I really wasn't expecting the mailman to come, but what you have to realize... Oh, shoe bottom beats up Elliot. Oh, look at him. He's, 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 no, he's, she's behind him. Look at her. Look, look on her face. That crazy damn woman. Uh, you know, I think what people don't understand, and, you know, Mike, uh, maybe this is what we need to help them understand that because they feel powerless. If you said, what do people feel? Well, the second they put the leash on, they feel powerless. The dog is pulling. It's reactive. It's all these things. They got a little power, but they're not that strong, so they feel powerless. I think part of what we have to help people understand is you do have a hidden superpower, and that's just being able to move around by being able to control them with motion systemically, not just randomly. As a general, I didn't say anything when the the mailman came. I just sat there. Hi, Joe. I, you, I think all, if you said, I want dogs that look at me and I want dogs that are interested in me, it, it, the, the picture needs to be the dog looking at you and you not looking at them. When you see these things where they're right in the face and the looks on these dogs' faces that they don't see it. So, you know, if you are starting out, this dog was the dog that Oh, he had a great home. He lived in a mansion. And this is what he did to the people. He worked all of them all day. This girl's a lawyer. She's a great lawyer. I love her to death, Dana. And I hope she comes back and gets more dogs for me. And thank God Elliot didn't kill the dog. Uh, but she had a guy that worked every day that was like some handyman or whatever, restoring the place. So this guy would come in every day. And, you know, Elliot would go up there, flip his arms, get petted. And it would be a big festival because... Elliot loved this guy. Well, pretty soon the guy wasn't doing it good enough. And pretty soon, Elliot, <coughs> OMG. Oh, this might be a good episode. So let's uh, rename it Testosterone Laden Female. Um, let me make sure I got that little psycho in the shot. Yeah, here we go. Um, uh, no, look at her, king of the mountain. Oh, she'll guard me for Ellie, though. Anyway, pretty soon it wasn't good enough. Now, pretty soon, Elliot's ramming the guy in the crotch. Or they would... <laughs> no! <laughs> Elliot! She's gonna get it again. And if you said, oh God, I hope that was, it probably wasn't even in the shot. If you said, how did I control that with motion? The only shot I had, oh, look at the look on her face now though. Oh, look at the look on her face. It's completely different than it was a minute ago. She's not completely convinced, but she now understands these two are working as a team. I hope it was in the shot because she was getting her ass kicked. And if you said, has that ever happened before? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah. And I want you to watch her now. She's going to get out of this. She's got a strategy to get out of it. Uh-huh. And if you said, what did she do? She curled her lip. He backed off. So she advanced on him. So she advanced on him. No, he had a good hold of her. She's got a little, she's awful. That's what I tell everybody. That's probably going to happen again. She's not careful. Somebody better be more humble. My only shot... And I can control down. I didn't say it again. I just kept saying it with my body language. Uh, oh, no, you're not getting any kisses from me. But if you said, why does she do that? She's a testosterone-laden female. 
She's the most threatened by masculine males. What she didn't understand, I think maybe, uh, was those two were acting as a team. She thought she could take this one. She found out that wasn't true. Look at her, though. You know, that's what I want you to understand. She had a strategy for keeping Andre away. She knows that she can keep him one-on-one. -on -one. And she's now figured out. But the bottom line is, honestly, the only hope I had was to put some distance in between me. Me getting up there trying to pull Elliot off, that wouldn't have worked. They already tried that when he got the Jack Russell. And he's a lot of dog. But Andre on his own doesn't have enough to take her on. But what Andre's thinking is if he makes a move, this one will come in and yeah, it's time for shoe bottom to die. But that's a completely different, if you said, what's her body language? Yeah, instead of sitting here. And him laying down is making a difference, too. Him laying down is making a difference. But I'm the only, you know, and I think that's what you have to think of. If you don't have anything, if they don't have collars on, if because I happened with Axel, too. If they don't have anything... The only hope you have is to control them with motion. Now, Andre's got his eye on her now, though, because he's saying... He's not that fond of it. He, can think, he thinks he can get a run on it. He thinks he can get a run on it. Oh, hello, Pablo. I hope you saw that. That's what they do. They're absolutely awful. You know, and I mean, obviously that could have resulted in a really bad dog fight, you know. And if you said, well, when do dog fights happen? As far as I know, all the freaking time, every freaking day. As far as I know, every day, all day, every day, all over the world, dogs are getting in fights. You know, it's, it's just, that's why, Sophia, I don't know if you're there, but you've got to get Wolfie neutered. I mean, I'm not the president of the World Neuter Council that I, I somehow have some agenda. I understand if Elliot wasn't neutered right now, Shoe Bottom would probably be and right there. Now he's trying to work me and I'm, that's not going to work with me because down. He's going to go right back where he was. Now he's pretending to sniff. She's down. Uh, she's trying to take her little position back over here. Let, I want you to watch him. He gave him a close eye, and if he acts, that one's going to act. If this one acts, that one's going to act. And if you said, how fast is that one going to act? Real fucking fast. Real fast. Because that one's that one's lieutenant. And when I first came out here, I don't know if you guys saw him doing it. He started to talk, attack Andre. And if you said, why does he do that? He's, he's, he's just a dog aggressive. He's dog aggressive and he was successful. The excitement of getting one to the level that he got it is addictive to these things. That's why Freaky Hunts possums. The, the heightened reality of, you know, I don't know if you guys saw that video where the, um, that Jack Russell was screaming when those pit bulls were getting it, but I guarantee that thing was screaming when this thing had it in his mouth, shaking it like a rag. And of course, they're all punching the dog and trying to get it out of its mouth and all these different things. You know, and he was basically saying to them, you're good for one thing. When I jimmy and jack up to you, you pet me. Other than that, don't bother me. You know, this is a total user. That's why I can't fall for that at all. You know, I don't feed into it at all. Just because if I didn't, he would still have shoe bottom on the ground. And by now it would have deteriorated to Andre getting her too. And now shoe bottom would be pulled limp. 
I want you to know he just looked back at her. I hope you saw that. You know, and if you said, did she learn? Does he know? She know he's up? Hell no, she'll try it later. She'll try it later, and I'll tell you what she does. If for any reason there's any new bag of dog food, anything in the garage that she decides is hers, and I go to let Elliot and Andre in, and, you know, in her mind, they're trying to get whatever it is, then she attacks him. And he's kind of put up with it. But I'm going to show you just how much I can control with movement. I'm not trying to... I'm controlling them just a little bit with my voice just to keep things from going completely south. But I, this other one's going to come out of nowhere and be right behind me. Watch. And he said, why does the big one keep looking back? It's, it, 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 it's in his mind. This is what I want you guys to understand. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're seeing all this, Mike. Oh, hi, John. I, I hope you saw the dog fight where Shoe Bottom was going to kick Elliot's ass. That didn't go too good. The, this, the video was titled Control Them With Movement. Thank God I thought of my own plan. Uh, thank God I remembered what the title was. It's time to act. Uh, but I think that's our superpower that we're not... I imprint all my puppies... And if you said, how do I will, they buy this bullshit. They buy that bullshit. Yeah. That song gun's saying, look at it. Oh, my God, look at it. I can see exactly what this thing's doing. They buy that. I think you need to do it. And then you need to have a way. All right, here we go. Here we go. He finna do it to, he's finna do it to Andre now. And what he did, I want you guys to understand. I don't know if you could see it. Oh, he's going to go over there and jack on him some more. Uh, and if you said, well, he's an ass, that's why he's an ass. There is such a thing. He doesn't love me more than he loves himself. Let's put it that way. Uh, but what he does is, and I'm sure you've seen this before, John, cause they do it after they bite the sleeve too, but he, his teeth, he chat, he clatters his teeth. Now he's trying to nudge my hand right now. Now he going to go, now he going to go jack with him. Because that didn't work. Nudging my hand didn't work. His next move was to go. If he started thinking the way to get her attention is go jack with that dog, yeah, he might do that. Um, he's just an ass. I mean, you, there is such a thing. I mean, you know, people need to understand that. There is such a thing. You know, and he's going to come up and he's going to try to get me to pet him just like he does every time. And if, if I don't do that, he's in control of everything. Because then I pet him. Yay! Uh, if I pet him, then when do I stop petting him? Where does the secret, you know, you just, you can't do that. Your superpower is movement with my puppies. You can take any little puppies and make them believe. See ya, have a nice life. And they will make it their mission to desperately, that little puppy, Nilla. I've never seen a little puppy run that fast. Nothing but it, hook, line, and sinker. All right, now that other one's way over there. You can see he's watching this one. I'm saying my superpower is not saying, come on, do any of that. If I've got a, a psychological control of just movement, they are buying it. That's the, that's the hilarious part. He said, where'd that one go? Now it didn't sleep. He's around the corner. Oh, he's looking now, though. I'm going to go, if I disappear out here, this will, he doesn't like Elliot.
any collars on them, you know, but I've got a, a dynamic. And that's what you guys have to set up. If you said they, what's their response gonna be? All right, look out, look out. Look out, here we go, here we go. Here's what he does. And Andre skulks off. Shoe bottom saw that. She's like, count me out. I'll pretend to be over here looking at butterflies. I don't need another can of whoop ass opened up on me. You know, because if you said what happened, oh, that's exactly what happened. Elliot got his giant can opener and opened up his giant can of whoop ass on her neck. And I don't know if you could see it because I think they bumped into the camera, but he had a hold of her neck. He wasn't letting go. The only way I could control it was to go away. I want you guys to remember that. It's very hard to do, though. It's very hard. I mean, these are my own dogs. If it was someone else's dog, I might tell them to run away. Go get in your car, honk your horn, anything. If you could get the owner away, you might have a chance of this dog saying, I'm out of here. You know, I can't do this on my own rather than say, oh, I think if the owner goes in there and helps pull it, from what I've seen, that doesn't help at all. There's a very awful video on live leaks, Sophia found it with this guy. I think it's in South Africa or something, but it's basically these people are filming while this guy is going in these people's yard and being mauled to death by these pit bulls. And it does, it grabs it by the throat. I understand how that would inflict a pretty bad injury pretty quick. You know, because, I mean, if it bites your jugular vein, I guess. But even then, any any damage to this area, you're, you're not going to make it. And he didn't make it. So, anyway, guys, that's, that's my advice. Control them. I don't have any treats. I don't. But I still have that power. And if you said, who gave you that? But God gave me that. It was, oh, they just want to follow me. And all, now I understand, as of last Tuesday, they can't help themselves. You know, and if, if you said, how could somebody exploit me personally oh find things that i just can't resist. i can't help myself you know that's why oh girls bling you know anything shiny they can't help themselves if i see any jeans with any sparkly little oh, i can't help myself you know i just gotta have these things i'm being exploited into buying them because they figured out a lot of girls see sparkly and they sparkly you know so yeah if you can exploit Things that are, if, let's just put it this way. If you're not exploiting that, you're crippling yourself and you're crippling the relationship. So now he's defaulting to the down and I hope the fight was on there because I'm going to put it in slow-mo just so I can see the oh shit look on Shoe Bottom's face. Because she does, she bullies Talbot, she bullies him. Uh, she bullies Molly. She, yeah, she bullies any of the males that she can and Molly. And if none of them are available, then she bullies who's ever there. You know, that's the sad part. Mike knows that. You know, if none of those are available, those are her preference to bully. But if none of those are available, but she, she's got a completely different body posture. Oh, Deb, this is a voicemail from Deb. She's now facing away. But you can see this dog is completely controlled. He's looking at her. He knows if he... He does the same thing every time, though. He's gonna, if I go, if I look over here, he'll come over here and lay down. You know, so I'm just controlling him with, you know, where I'm looking and all that. You guys need to just try it. You need to just say, I'm not going to say a word. I'm going to go out in the backyard. Even if you're just do, even if I was just out here doing incidental tasks, they still follow me around. If I go out here and I start picking up all these water balls and stuff that they've thrown around or anything, they still follow me around. They can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. So if I can structure that into something that's going to help me, you know, rather than just have some awful, awful dog fight where my dear little shoe bottom is torn limb from limb. I mean, you see where that could have happened. Anyway, guys, back with more action and adventure soon.